hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified and when i drop the next update on i do stay tuned on today's episode on i do it's night chad is trying to lie he's lying down on the sofa and send him on the bed Sanam turns around and Chad and Sanam look at each other. Chad asks Sanam the matter. Sanam says not feeling calm, that she's getting strange thoughts. I told you we'll not be away from each other until I get well, but I'm feeling wrong because of this situation. There is distance between us and I'm worried. Our relation will be affected. Chad asks why she's thinking so. Sanam says she feels there's something missing between them. Sometimes she feels her hair is close to her. Sanam even if they are not together and we are far despite being together chad keeps mute sanam says i'm only telling you what i feel i don't want to hurt you chad says what you're feeling may be true every relation is based on trust and it's established when two people are together despite knowing everything chad says he wanted to tell her something but didn't have the courage he was worried what she would think on knowing the truth so she, he wants to tell all the truth and starts telling how they met for the first time during riots how he lied to save her that she is his wife and that 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 lie is the biggest truth of his life now he's holding a locket and says i tried to tell you all this since but couldn't he turns to tell her but notice she's asleep he gets up from the sofa sits beside her and says i love you lies are too weak but i want to capture you in my heart and turn my lie to a truth i want to marry you no more lies you're in my life Gazala and Latif come with some candle and stands and put in front of new bright pigs and prays to keep her every spirit or evil spirit away from them. They knew that when new bride was alive, she was so evil and don't know what she came before. Be came after that. Latif and Gazala are terrified. Latif thinks of feeling beggars and with her. Their blessings, the new bride's soul will be away from them. The new bride is shown on the road. Flashback of how she was stuffed in a suitcase hit her head and passed out a car knocked and she's near the same hotel where chad and sanam are staying notices kids going to school with some bottles and snacks snatches bottle from the kid just then she notices sanam leaves the hotel and freezes gazala worries what they will do if new Bar returns at school latif ahil asks them what is going on and spots new bride speaks and asks the matter latif says the new bride left us forever Ayu says she doesn't think so, but why are they sad that they should be happy and rejoice that he does not think it's true that evil can't be ended so easily? He gives money to Latif to feed beggars and says, prepare for party tonight. Saif's sister is coming. Latif praises her hill. The new bride is drinking water. When she spots Sanam walking towards the hotel and is shocked, runs after Sanam. Chad tells Sanam that the restaurant is upstairs. Let's go. They leave before the new bride spots them. Ahio arrives at the same spot, but the new bride is gone by then. Ahio self thought, I will take my Sanam home. And when the past calls a person, calls a person she can't refuse. That house has Sanam's memory at every corner. Sanam will recollect all. Kazla and Latif are busy fighting over new bride's clothes and tease about her clothes. Kazala says, I don't think she'll be back. Latif says, always praised her when she was here. Kazala says, when your throat is under the soul, you have to do what's told. Latif takes the new bride's story. Sanam tells Chad that she is sorry she fell asleep midway. Was he saying anything important? Chad says, it's fine. That he wanted to tell this since long, but wasn't able to. Sanam also asks the matter. Holds Chad's hand and says, I share all with you. I'm your wife. Don't hide anything. Chad smiles at her. Ahio arrives and fumes, watching them holding hands, quits them and joins them. Chad asks the matter why he's here so early. Ahio says he came to ask something from them that he hopes they won't refuse and says that he wants to take both of them home, that it's his sister's rocker. So I want you both to be part of it. Chad thanks Ahil and says that he's sorry but he can't make it. Ayo asks him to join after work is over and asks Sanam. Sanam hesitates. Chad tells Sanam to join that he will try to join as well. Sanam agrees. Ayo looks at Sanam as he brings the car to a halt outside the mansion. Sanam stares at it. Ayo says our home is here. 
opens the door for her. Saddam steps out of the car. Flashback shown of Saddam arriving at the mansion the very first time. She stares dazed at the mansion. A manager comes and identifies Sanam and smiles. Ahil points to him to stay mute. He asks for help from Ahil to finalize gifts for the mayor. Ahil goes and tells Sanam that she would find her way in. And wait. He tells her she would find her way. Sanam is stunned. Steps inside the house with tentative steps. Looks at the hall. Ahil watches Sanam as she is looking at the whole house tensely. Flashback of Ahil and Sanam's moment. Sanam wonders what's happening to her and why she feels as if all is her own in this house. self thoughts have never been in this place before then. Why do I feel as if I am connected to this house? Sashi Kapoor is being driven in her mirror kafal kid. Chad is driving just next to her but doesn't export her yet. The new bride runs inside the house fuming but misses noticing each other. She spots her photograph with candles being in bombs into being late and bombs into Gazala notices her wearing her sari. She fumes at her, but Gazala passes out. Ayo asks Sanam how she found the house. She says it's very beautiful. There's something in this house that pulls her to that pulls her towards it, that she feels connected to the house and feels she knows this house every corner. Ayo doesn't answer and says, let us show you the most special place of the house. Most beautiful thing. Once you see it, it will, you will become a part of this house completely. Ayo takes Sanam to her, their room, shows her a wall piece hanging but covered with red clothes. Sanam says, beautiful room, you're going to show me something. Ayo says, I want to show you the most beautiful thing in the world. It's behind that red clothes. The face that's there gives me courage to face the whole world. Gives me faith that nothing is greater than love. And the one who has love in his heart is the most pious person. The face for which I am ready to f face any pain to see the smile on that face. Behind the smile is the key of my life. Sanam removes the clothes and it's a mirror. Sanam can see her reflection and is surprised. Right then, the new bride steps in the room and says, I am Ahil's wife. Sanam is stunned. Ahil too. Sanam is boggled to see the mirror behind the veil and is confused why Ahil waits for her reaction. Just then, the new bride too comes in the mirror, saying she's Ahil's wife. Sanam looks up and confronts her and then turns around surprised. Ahil is shocked to see her but introduces her the second bride. She's amused as to how Ahil loves the name Sanam so much. The new bride asks if she too is Sanam, and Sanam talks about her identity as Janet. Ahil is frustrated when Sanam asks about their second marriage. He tries to get her out, but the new bride intervenes, saying she shall show her the house before the guests start coming in. He leaves out for a file and then whispers into the new bride's ear not to even dare to hurt Sanam. She says he has dared to be her enemy and she won't hurt Sanam as she's already lost, but he should be punished for leaving her stranded and scolds him for what he did and the way he treated her, that she would teach him a lesson that makes him realize he only belongs to her, then turns to Sanam and asks her to come to see the house. She's amused to see Ahio and the new bride whispering and walks out. Ahio is tensed at the new bride followers. Thank you guys for watching today's update on I do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.